Hey, what's up everybody? It's October 4th, 2021, and we are getting a little bit of rain right now up here in Big Bear Lake, California. Just a little bit of drizzle. It's about 3.25 p.m. Um, we got a nice clean car for the season coming up here. So check it out. We got some rain overnight. Um, our low is only going to get down to like 40 maybe, but uh, next week, at the end of the week, it looks like we're going to have one of the days a high temperature of 42, and the low temperature might not even get out of the teens. So if that's the case, I hope that's uh, a little sign of what's to come. But yeah, so we got a little drizzle coming down right now. You guys know this is what we do. Growing the beard out for winter. So it's going to go through some really horrible stages here soon, which is when I usually cut it. Because I'm just like, oh my gosh, makes you look worse. <laughs> Don't laugh, it's not funny. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, this is cool, man. I'm, I'm so excited that the season is coming up. It, it, seriously, it's going to be here in the blink of an eye. And I have another weird feeling that all my big snow recordings are, are going to be in the overnight hours when it's just us out here. I think that'll be really cool. Although I want you guys to see it during the day. I love it when we get our daytime blizzards. But yeah. So we're just going to go up here a little bit and then turn around and give you guys the different perspective coming back into town. But yeah, guys, look at it. I mean, it's, it's, you can even see on the windshield a little bit. Hi guys, so we turned around right there. Sorry about that. Um, I know this this video isn't anything special, but um, and honestly, I'm I'm not too sure where this uh, this uh, precipitation is coming from. If it's it, you know if it's coming from the monsoonal flows or if it's coming from actual low pressure off the west coast here. So um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's it's kind of mid temperature right now it's like 70 degrees so I, i'm thinking it might have something to do with it but then when i look out that way there's, no, there's not many clouds out there so um yeah it leads me to believe that this is a storm coming in from the coast and if so if it seems like it's a little bit early to have instability like this but um once again i hope it's a sign of things to come let's look out here as i as we get in in the winter time, I always coin that big bear snow rule where this side of town just gets slammed. And then as we go to the complete opposite side of town, only about four and a half, five miles from here, um, just straight ahead, it's uh, you will get like an inch of snow over there and a foot over here. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. But out there, holy moly, does it ever get windy and does it ever get cold when it's not windy? There's no trees to protect you. Uh, usually there aren't that many clouds out there and it's just a couple miles away. It's so cool. When I lived on the big island of Hawaii, I lived in a town called Waikoloa Village, and literally like eight miles one direction, eight miles another direction. I, like where I lived for the year that, just over a year that I lived there, it rained maybe to, like twice at my house, maybe three times. Eight miles away at, at, at my friend Brandon Ng, God rest his soul, died in a drunk driving accident over there. Um, um, he's from there, uh, but um, he lived in a town called Waimea, and they would get rain every single day. It was like predictable exactly what time of day it would start. It was really neat. I enjoyed it a lot. It seemed like the more rainy parts of the island were very localized places. Very local people were very local. And I'm one who respects other people's cultures big time. So I, I showed a ton of respect as I always would and just a yearning to learn about them and and just, uh, you know, like just communicate because they they really don't like Howleys over there, white people, us, um, because we stole their land. And I, I can understand the anger, I, I really can. But I, I was there just to just learn the culture. The Hawaiian culture is amazing. It's incredible. The respect and the family atmosphere is just so amazing. They're just incredible people, incredibly strong people. They love a good fight. And uh, yeah. <laughs> fighting around the world. <laughs> Wonder how many of you got that South Park? Uh, it was so good, they might demonetize me for that. That was how good that impression was. Anyways, 
Yeah. So we are back on Big Bear Boulevard. To the right would be like the, the mountain area where Snow Summit is. We just gotta go up a little bit. Um, I think we will drive up to it just so you guys can, can see these clouds rolling in over, uh, over the top of Snow Summit. But as we do, you guys, when we get any type of weather, this is what I do, even if it's a couple raindrops. We're so blessed to get anything. I'm so grateful for it, I will record it. And I'm telling you, this is the only thing that makes me happy in life these days, is being here with you guys. Seriously. It's, it's uh... But, you, <laughs> you guys are the... are truly my backbone. You guys are my rock. The kind for uh, emotional stability. <laughs> oh man, I'm so happy to be with you guys. It really does, all, it always feels like you guys are right here with me when I'm sitting here talking to you. It's like I, I hit the record button and then you guys are, are here with me spiritually. It's incredible. I, it's incredible. It's addicting. Um, not making the videos, but that's addicting because it, it takes my, my depression down a notch. When I see it snow, but uh, you guys, man, you guys are what I look forward to. When making videos, okay. And my my good friend Dave Knight just got back to me. He owns Knight's Automotive up here. If you guys have anything wrong, if you guys get stuck up here, anything, I think he even has a, a, a tow truck now. He, he can do smogs and stuff. Um, you know what, maybe, uh, oh shoot, maybe, there's a cop right there, so I got the, the camera down, um, yeah, what you're gonna need to do if you get stuck is contact me or contact Dave, and you'll be good, I'll make sure he takes care of you, he's a good guy, his work is outstanding, and, it's very important that uh, when you guys do get stuck up here, you get the work done right. And I'm not saying other people wouldn't do it right, but he's so trustworthy, you guys, that like if you didn't feel like you're you or if you feel like you got ripped off, I would pay for your service. Like that's how much I love this guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's an honest guy. Everything that I need with my car and my motorcycle go to him. Yeah, everything goes to him. I met him. We moved up here like two months apart, like six and a half years ago, which is really cool. And I met him. He was working at, uh, whatchamacallit, um, he was working, oh, at the place he owns now. It used to be called Greg's Auto. Here's Snow Summit. It used to be called Greg's Auto, and now it's called Knight's Automotive. He worked there for a few years, and then he ended up buying it. And uh, he's a fantastic business owner, great family man just a kick-ass person and we go on our we go riding together on our Harleys um, yeah he's a great guy and uh, they're always busy so like that's a good sign too so if you guys do get stuck let me know or like if, if you need some sort of a service done up here let me know just so I can let them know it's it's a friend of mine and they will get you guys in right away I promise you I promise you because all all the tourists you guys are my friends all my YouTube friends, you guys are my good friends. I love you guys, man. And we're gonna have to make a Yui here. I kinda wanted to see these clouds coming in right here. Look at that. Look at it, it's getting pretty dark. Beautiful. But yeah. Um, so yeah, Dave Knight. Knight's Automotive on Garston. If you cross Moon uh, Big Bear Boulevard on Moon Ridge Road, it turns into Garston on the other side of Big Bear Boulevard, and then you're good. He's two uh, driveways down on the right-hand side. It's a big, big shop. So anyway, this is what we got going on over here, and I know you guys are super stoked. I got my car detailed. It's totally detailed. Look at how gray and cool her, her hair was. That was super cool. Look at this, though. Man, these people haul some serious butt on their bikes. You guys are nuts. You guys are awesome, but you guys are nuts. Guys, this is gonna be full of snow in a month. Can you believe that? Maybe not in a month, but for sure in 60 days, 
we will have had a major snowstorm. I guarantee you, man. Coming straight from Tony, Montana. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a snowstorm. <laughs> He's thinking the wrong one, though. That's not the snowstorm I'm thinking of. I want the snowstorm that's falling from the sky. I want to have a big Christmas snowstorm, another big Thanksgiving snowstorm, but the most important one for me is the Christmas snowstorm. So when I wake up alone, I can be all depressed, but happy because there's snow outside. Seriously, like, seriously. Um, you guys bring out a lot of of my joy and it, it, it's, it's not that I'm stuffing anything in. I'm, I'm really not. I'm, I tell you guys everything whether you guys want to hear it or not, but I know a lot of you are very supportive and you would never judge. So, uh, you guys are essentially my therapists in a big, big way. And my friends, obviously. Yeah. We're uh, driving down one of these streets next to snow summit. I'm sure a lot of these houses, we can rent them. Uh, it looks a little bit shady there. Person just sitting in that empty house's driveway. But yeah, guys, a little bit on the shady side. Now, if I see that car on Neighborhood Watch tonight thing for the ring doorbells, I will know. Well, let me see what, she this is Crestwood, yeah. Crestwood, Crestwood, Crestwood. Go ahead. Go, go ahead, go ahead. All righty. It's a beautiful place, you guys. It's a beautiful place. Tonight we'll be doing some more for sure. This would typically be like the calm before the storm video, but uh, it's not really much of a storm. And I want to save, like, save that initial one for our season opener. First big snowstorms, you know. I'm telling you guys, I'm getting so excited about it. And as I said, in like a week, we have low temperatures that are going all the way down to the upper teens. Yeah, the upper teens. Can you believe that? I'm gonna have to break out all my winter clothes again. I'm excited. It's it's the same stuff I wear every year, you guys. It's I mean, you know, I clean it all, and then I just put it away for the for the summer. But uh, yeah, thanks thanks for not judging again. This parking lot's gonna be full a lot soon because of Snow Summit opening up for skiing. I'm so excited. Not to go skiing, but for all of you guys to get your butts up here and have a great time and and uh, bring down my depression. Because <laughs> when you guys are here, I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm a very happy camper. Man, it's so beautiful over here. I mean, look at this. And we're 7,000 feet up here. It's so weird sometimes because I can never see from, from town down the mountain from here. So it's just, you kind of forget that you're way the hell up in the mountains. It's really cool. But anyway, I love you guys a lot. We'll be seeing you soon. Cheers.